Hello everyone, myself Anish Rai. Myself Isan Dibu. We are representing Government Senior Secondary School Centre Pandam and we have made a model based on eco-friendly material. We have generated electricity in an eco-friendly way. Why we chose this model was because we are influenced by the daily use of electricity and the non renewable resources to generate those electricity. So we thought why not generate electricity in a friendly way. So uh, we thought of using a source of energy which is being wasted daily. In this model we have used a vehicle as a source of energy. So the principle used in this model is uh, electromagnetic induction and conversion of mechanical energy into electrical energy. How this model basically works is when a vehicle moves through the speed breaker, the speed breaker is connected to the stepping motor and when the speed breaker is pressed, the stepping motor rotates. As the stepping, stepping motor rotates, electricity is induced in it. So when electricity is induced in it, the electricity induced gets stored in a battery. As we can see that the light is glowing as the speed breaker is being pressed. Whenever the speed breaker gets pressed, the light glows, which means the electricity is getting induced in it. So the electricity induced goes and gets stored in a battery. So we have connected a diode over here, which doesn't allow the energy from the battery to get back to the motor. So the electricity stored can be used in various things like glowing up street lights and various other things like um, using it in household products. In future, we can add a charging station for the electrical cars. So this model basically works in every season, like rainy season and many other seasons. In rainy season, if the water seeps in through the speed breaker, we have a second part of our model. If the water seeps in through the speed breaker, it gets stored in this area. So when the water gets stored in this area, it, it goes to a certain amount of level. To avoid short circuit, we have added an indicator over here. So as the wa water level reaches a certain amount, the indicator indicates it and the motor water pump starts up. As the water pump starts up, the water gets stored in a tank where the water can be filtered. So as the water gets filtered, we can use that water for irrigation and many other purposes like uh, flower, watering, flower, watering plants and many other things. So my friend Ikshan will now tell us what are the components used in this model. So here, for, uh, first we have used one <coughs> stripper motor uh, to generate electricity uh, and we have used some uh, LEDs for um, street light and we have used one uh, LED for the, um, for the, uh, to show the, to show the electricity generated by motor and uh, we have used 4 volt batteries to store the electricity generated by motor <coughs> and we have used some uh, switches and we have made one uh, circuit uh, circuit to detect the water level and in this circuit we have used um, relay one relay one um, diode one um, transistor one register and we have used one uh, water pump to pump the water from this area to this tank filter tank so this model is uh, this model is our future. This model can generate electricity in such places where there is no water. So this, it not only generates electricity but it also conserves water. As there are many places where there are, the water level is very low. So it can conserve water and we can use the water in future to generate electricity. So this model can work in places where there, are, there is no water to generate electricity. There are no dams. This can be used in a place where there are where wind flows rarely. So this can, in the future, we can modify this model and, and use it in stairs. As we step through the stairs, it can also generate electricity. So this model is a boon to our future. This model will help us in various ways. Thank you.